2006 Chevy Colorado separating the flywheel from the torque converter. So everyone says to use crow's foot or these bent ones. Neither one of them works. You're wasting your time. I found something better. Oh, I'm sorry. Flex plate. Automatics have flex plates. Okay, so get yourself a breaker bar with a 15 16 socket to hold the crankshaft. And then get yourself a T50 little Torx bit heavy duty extension with a 10 millimeter deep socket for leverage because you need to turn look, apparently this has a Torx bit in there it's not just a millimeter or a socket head so it's got a Torx in there you can't grab it because of the angle that's where this comes into play. So, let's see if I can do this so you can see it. Try to do this without hurting yourself, too. So, basically, all you got to do is put this in here like this. Make sure it's nice and sturdy. That's a 10 millimeter. So, 10 millimeter is pretty sturdy. Put it in there. Put it in here just so it catches. You'll feel the teeth catch. See, once the teeth catch, you're going to want to pull it towards you over the driver's side at the same time. You want to push your body up against the breaker bar to hold it in place. And when you do it, you're going to have to be hard on it, but you're going to hear it crack, and that's going to be the indication you're loose. Make sure your teeth are in there real good. Get some leverage. Make sure it's not moving. And that should indicate that it's off. filming thing. Alright, just get this back in there. It's loose. Easy peasy. And then there's three of them. Take all three off. And then you can continue doing all the other BS that this truck has to offer. Alright, so yeah, that's the easy way. <laughs> 